Hi everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. It's been a while since I filmed the video. I've been really busy with schoolwork and actually a few days back I tested positive for COVID. I'm feeling a lot better now, just pardon the voice. I'm isolating in my room and I thought of dedicating some time to review some stuff that I picked up. So today I will be reviewing the Julius Fall Winter 2016 Void Military Boots. So these pair of boots are from the Beast collection, if I believe. Up till now, I'm still looking for the perfect boot to use on a daily basis. Something that's comfortable, easy to put on, and goes well with everything. When I saw the Julius boots, they looked quite promising, so I decided to give it a go. And as usual, my main purpose of filming this video is to show you close-up shots of the boots, to help you out with the sizing, and show you how I would style them. Here's a close-up shot of the boots. Unfortunately, I do not have the tags and box with me, so I'm unable to show it to you guys. Starting off, the boots are made from a calf leather. You can see a bit of leather graining at the paneling area. The leather isn't extremely soft, it is more towards the sturdy side compared to Rick Owens as well as Guidi boots. But overall, it still feels very high quality and it feels very nice. Here's the external side of the boot. The front part is generally quite minimal, but at the back you have lots of paneling and stitches that run through. The design of the paneling, especially the corners, are very aggressive and sharp. This is not typically found on regular pair of boots. Here's the instep. The design and paneling is exactly the same as the external side. The boots have a fairly rounded and wide toe box. They come with rounded wax laces. The lacing system it is very unique because the eyelids are completely hidden. The laces run through normally and in the middle there's a very prominent X, mainly because of the paneling design and it ends off at the top. Next, we have this elongated shoe tongue which goes above the shoe collar. It has a very unique shape with sharp corners as well. At the back, you have a smooth YKK zipper which makes putting on the boots really easy. But for a boot like this, I kind of wish that they used Accela or Recogni zippers instead. Here's the model code on the inside of the zipper flap. For the interior of the shoe, it is lined with a half insole which is glued to the base. On the insole, there is the Julius 7 branding. I'm not exactly sure whether the boots are welted, but here is the external stitching. Moving on to the outsole, it is made from a crepe material. At the back, you have the entire heel made out of crepe as well. Here's the bottom view of the outsole. As you can see, there is no traction pattern whatsoever. And in the middle, there is no Julius branding and sizing. Now moving on to sizing, I'm normally a US 9 in most Nike sneakers and for designer shoes I wear a European 42. For Julius footwear it can be quite confusing because the sizing are labelled as 1, 2 and 3. For this exact pair it is in a size 2 and it fits me perfect. The insole measurements is about 28cm so I reckon that a size 2 would fit anyone from a size US 9 to 10. It will fit 9 and 9.5 perfect, uh, 10 on the snug side. And also to point out, the toe box is relatively wide, so if any of you all have a slightly wider foot, it will not be as uncomfortable wearing them. To sum up my thoughts on these pair of boots, this is probably the most all-rounded pair that I own. The crepe sole is really comfortable, the leather is really soft and supple, and the zipper at the back just makes putting on these pair of boots so easy. You just slip them on, zip them up, and you're good to go. I love the fact that it somewhat resembles a classic military boot. When your pants is laid over the pair of boots, it looks unassuming and it looks very minimalistic and clean. But when you tuck them in, you get to see the crazy paneling as well as the lacing system and this obscure shaped tongue which really just changes the whole aesthetic and look of the boot. They are very versatile and you can wear them in many ways and at certain angles, it resembles the Dirk Bickenberg boots, at least to me. The lacing system as well as the chunk and bulk 
of the entire boot. So this is a very good alternative to that. The disadvantage will probably be from the crepe sole, which accumulates a lot of dust and hair easily. And on wet surfaces, it can be quite slippery. But other than that, I'm really happy with the pickup. I will be wearing this a ton for sure. I hope this video has given you more information on these pair of Julius Fall Winter 2016 Void Military Boots. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.